Okay, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to fasten on a locket to a yarn necklace that I make. Um, they're very pretty. They're adjustable with a bead. You can adjust the length to make the necklace shorter, longer. And I was asked the question about the locket, so I wanted to show how I put mine on. Um, you can do these with any lockets. What I have done is I used one of these, they either call them jump rings. Um, I just know them because they're in the necklace aisle of your craft stores. Uh, they come in gold. They come in all kinds of different colors. This one I put on my necklace is a green because my necklace has some greens and some chocolate browns and silvers. And I also, I'm sorry, no silver. It's just greens and like a, a pretty chocolate brown. But your locket has the silver in it. So what I did was I took the, the green jump ring and I opened up the closure. There's a part of the ring that has like an opening where you just kind of pull that apart. It's real easy. They're not too tough. You can also use the needle nose pliers if you have some. They're, they also have jewelry needle nose pliers, but these happen to be my husband's that I use. Um, and you can just open it up and then really it's not very hard to close and then you also will take a smaller jump ring that's real tiny it's about the size of the rings that come on your jewelry like when you buy a chain a necklace chain and then I attach that to the bigger jump ring where you can see it and then I took one of these little necklace clasps right here and I attached it to this small ring and all again you have to do is uh, use one of the needle nose pliers if you need any help with these rings but I can also do that for anybody that needs help with it um, it's not real hard uh, just have have little strength in your fingers. Um, I also make the yarn necklaces. You can visit my Facebook page, PCs Yarn Neck Designs, and I have all my pictures on there of the different necklaces I do. And I also make them with pendants already on them. But if somebody would have like a personal pendant they wanted on the necklace and I, it could be possibly put on, I can do that. They just have to at least have in somewhere that I can place a ring through. Or if they're a glass pendant, they have to have a big enough opening to put the yarn through. But I can do any style type necklace that anyone might want to request. I also make fringe necklaces, and they're beautiful. Um, they take a little longer to do, but they're very pretty on. I can make them adjustable also, or I can make them fixed with a fixed closure. Either way, make them shorter length uh, fringe, or I can make them long like this. Some people like the length of the fringe a little bit shorter. That's easy to do. I can do that. Or if you request it long and you're not sure, you can always trim it to what you like. So that's another good thing and versatile way to make these necklaces. So if you have any questions, please contact me again. Um, my email uh, email is lilwolf72 at yahoo.com that's littlewolf72 at yahoo.com and I'm on Facebook PC's Yarn Designs that's PC apostrophe S Yarn Designs and thank you for watching today